Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. The joy of Katak residents knew no bounds when President Draupadi Murmu Wednesday stopped her car kid midway and got down the car while on her way to Shailabala Women's College. She met the children waiting for her by the roadside and distributed chocolates among them. Earlier, Murmu urged the people associated with the Orissa High Court to work towards speedy dispense of justice. She also attended the valedictory function of 75 years of completion of the court at Jawaharlal Nehru Indoor Stadium in Katak. Yesterday's well-marked low-pressure area over west-central and adjoining northwest bay of Bengal off North Andhra Pradesh South Odisha coasts with the associated cyclonic circulation persists. The IMD Wednesday informed that the low-pressure area is likely to move slowly northwestwards across North Andhra Pradesh, South Odisha coasts. Dismissed policeman Gopal Das was produced before the Jharsagoda District Judge Court Wednesday in connection with the murder of former Odisha Health Minister Nabakishor Das. He was brought to the court from Chodwar Jail by the Odisha Crime Branch amid tight security. The case was transferred to the additional District Judge Court. The next hearing of the case has been scheduled August 8. The Odisha Vigilance Department sleuths Wednesday carried out raids on the properties linked to Kishore Chandra Sahu, an assistant engineer of the General Public Health Section, Bhavani Patna of Kalahandi District. The raids are currently underway in connection with the allegations of the accusation of disproportionate assets by Sahu. As per sources, the Vigilance Department has found bank deposits of Rs 1.80 crore and further searches are on. The Sri Jagannath Temple Administration has asked the servitors of Datta Mahapatra Nijok to perform the Bonakalagi Niti of Lord Jagannath and his siblings, deities, Lord Balabhadra and Goddess Subhadra at Puri Sri Mandir Wednesday instead of Thursday. The SJTA has also warned that stern action will be taken in case of violation of the order. The temple administration has further stated that alternative arrangements will be made if the order is not carried out. President Draupadi Murmu, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Union Home Minister Amit Shah Wednesday paid tributes to the soldiers who fought the 1999 war with Pakistan on the occasion of Kargil Vijay Divas. Several programs are being held across the country to mark the Kargil Vijay Divas. Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla Wednesday informed the House that he has received the no-confidence motion from Congress MP Gaurav Gogoi under Rule 193. Birla said he will inform the members about the date for a discussion on the matter as per rules after discussing the same with leaders of all parties. The motion says that it has no trust in the Central Council of Ministers. Aviation Regulatory DGCA has suspended the flying licenses of two Indigo pilots for violating safety norms as the aircraft they operated suffered a tail strike while landing at the Ahmedabad airport last month, according to a senior official. The senior official at the Directorate General of Civil Aviation Wednesday said the license of the pilot in command has been suspended for three months and that of the co-pilot for one month. Union Health and Family Welfare Minister Mansukh Mandavia Wednesday said that the centre will emulate Uttar Pradesh model of health fairs across the country. A health fair is organised every week at every primary health and wellness centre in the state. Two and a half to three lakh poor people are treated at such fairs. We will implement this model in the whole country, Mandavia said at a press conference after a meeting with Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath and officials of the state health department. In a jolt to Imran Khan, Pakistan's Supreme Court Wednesday rejected the ousted Prime Minister's plea to stay the criminal proceedings against him in the Tosha Khanna corruption case. Imran Khan, 70, had approached the Supreme Court after being denied relief in the case by the Islamabad High Court. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.